writing your own work is can be terrifying and also super um, delightful because it's like, ah, this is how we want to present ourselves, I guess. And I think in this time of remakes and sequels, it's important to keep making original stuff, like, mm -hmm. however you can. Right. Tonight we're putting on a two-person variety yeah, show yeah. called The Tchotchke Wives, something that we wrote collaboratively um, about a month ago. Um, the writing process was very immersive. Yeah. Um, it was about mental disorders and also collections, so we did a lot of uh, trying to be as crazy as possible. Mm -hmm. So our, our piece has four main acts that each sort of highlight a, a, a a type or access a type of disorder, whether it be dissociative or psychosexual, and then it's narrated by little interstitial scenes that the tchotchke wives, in which we wear hats to distinguish that we're in character, so that's really important. Uh, we bring you four acts of humor. And three of anything makes a collection. The fourth humor is also bile, because there's two types of bile, black, black and, green. And, and red, black and red. Um, the first scene is a dissociative case called Folly Adieu, which is a madness shared by two people, and we decided to go back to, you know, history and reference characters that are uh, pretty involved in both Maggie and I's lives, Patti Smith and Robert Maplethorpe, and uh, kind of assess them as being participants in this disorder. More materialistic about my soul. Let me tell you who I am. I am Patti Smith Robert Bobby Mablethorpe. Can't remember who I started out as. Same people now, same time in this generation. Gathering up belongings. Robert, you always liked those leather things, those devil things, those sex tinkering boy toys. And then we move on to puppetry and we talk about, you know, sexual crises, love. But, and love, and deal, <laughs> but deal with it by having a two-headed turtle, which, like, no one can deny how cute it is, so it, like, makes it palatable. And Sublimate their sexual energy, we'll get to rubbing on things, like the shoulder of a couch, or a pillow that's the size of their body, but, well, regular-sized pillow, but children are smaller, and parents tend to call this turtling, is that true? She's so beautiful! So ethereal! So luminescent! She has six eyes! We have four! Ah, that's, that's three eyes for each of her two! Hey, love turtle! Enough of the paraphilia! And then, let's see, we are fascinated in like the mundane object as a puppet, so we just operate some teapots and, and talk about sleep disorders, such as night terrors and... That would spill, you know, every time he slept. You don't sleepwalk, do you? No. Not anymore. I'll be. Every night. Wake up on the stove, just totally at home on the range. And then our final scene, we play a magician and his assistant. And we deal, we really, really deal with why we have lots of things and whether or not we've transformed too much too many molecules into <laughs> objects that have no sentimental value. Wind chimes, wishing wells, bridges to nowhere, garden gnomes, fairy balls, lawn jockeys, reeds, and wooden crucifixes. Lovely. Do you want more rabbit? Abracadabra! And that's our show. Yeah. <laughs>